Views. Let's talk about views. Meet the view. Views are what you see and touch, right? So if it's a button, it's a form, it's a GUI, it's a chart, it's a video player, it's a list of images, they're interactive somehow, that's that's a view. They could be a single non-interactive static UI, but that's usually not a robot legs view. Robot legs view usually has to do with a model or some kind of piece of data, but maybe not. Maybe it's updated one time. Who knows? Or it could be all the way to a dynamic interactive set of GUIs via composition, right? A bunch of GUIs and GUIs, right? They all have their own mediators, models, and da 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 da, da right? That's a view too. Could be a single class. The point is it's supposed to be dumb and have no logic. Now it's okay to have logic to massage the data and make it user display. It's okay to have like, well, hold on, let me make that VO and make it fade when the text come in. That's fine. That's what views do. But you don't want it to deal with application logic, to deal with business logic, right? It's just supposed to display things and listen for when the user clicks things. Wizards and other multi-step processes get a little difficult, and I get it. That's fine. There's some orchestration there, but that's the point. The goal that you strive for is dumb, no logic. So a robot legs view is bound to a model or models, right? This is where the presenter can massage it versus just a simple, my mediator talks to that model. You know, it's not always one-to-one. -one. could be multiple. It dispatches user gestures, right? When the view just gets clicked on or the user taps on it a couple times or swipes something, it's going to tell that. The mediator is going to respond to that. So the view has to have a response when you dispatch that via a local event. Usually, Corona views extend display.group. So therefore, they can do self.dispatch or view.dispatch and it'll work just fine. The view requirements for robot legs is threefold. Number one, when you create it, whenever you decided to create it, whether it's an init method that's called automatically or whether you call it yourself, that's fine. There are no built-in events for Corona to do this stuff like there was in ActionScript or in uh, newer versions of Chrome and others where they actually let you know when a div is added or removed from the actual display list and the actual parent div or the body. You must dispatch an on robot legs view created in camel case and pass the target. So when you create it, that's what you have to do via runtime. Number two, when you destroy it, you have to dispatch on robot legs view destroyed on camel case and pass the target. Number three, now I want to point out something here. This is before you call remove self, okay? It needs to have some form of self. It needs to be a pointer. You can do it after, but I highly encourage you to do it before and then let the view clean itself up, okay? Number three, views must have a class type on camel case, aka the T is capital. Everything else is under lowercase. It must have a class type member variable. So that particular closure, instance, object, table, whatever, I should be able to go object.class type and see what its class name is, right? Not its package path, just the last thing after the dot because that's what you're going to use to register it inside your context, right? You have those three things when it's created, when it's destroyed, and what class type is it associated with? Because there's no metadata way to read closures in a formalized fashion in Lua because 5.2 clearly solved that, right? Those three things are what I need. You do those three things, you have a robot legs view.